Hello everybody, my name is Will Carmack. Welcome back to another After Effects tutorial where I show you how to animate handheld motion onto a 3D camera in After Effects. <gasps> and this video is sponsored by Squarespace. But um, psh, I, that's like a joke noise, but this isn't a joke, that was very serious. So, I've been making a lot of uh, documentary animations recently. So I've been animating old photographs a ton. And uh, if, you, if we look at a few, you can see how perfect the movement is. It just looks so smooth when you're going left to right, up and down. And I kind of did that intentionally. Until recently I saw this video from Vimeo. And the camera was moving so perfectly. It looked like someone was actually holding that 3D camera. And I went, I want to know how to do that. And so, like classic Will Carmack, old fashioned style. I just taught myself. I figured out how to do it, did some research, figured out it's really incredibly easy. It's just about a, a, about a little bit of a some off of a, fine tuning. So I wanna show you how we do that and I'll take these donkey animations I made for Johnny Harris's Cypress docu-series um, and I will take them from their original very smooth, lovely, elegant states and basically turn them into handheld camera looks. Okay, so first up we have the animation I titled Misty Donkey Man. And so he's just in this valley with all these donkeys and you can see here that the camera motion is very smooth. In fact, it's quite elegant. And so if we wanna make it look like it's being held by a person, so a little bit of handheld action here, um, if we twirl down the camera properties, you'll see that there is an option called point of interest. That's essentially what the camera is looking at. So for example, I would be the point of interest right now what the camera is looking at. So what we'd be doing by adjusting these adjustments here is changing what the camera is looking at just a little bit. And so if we can find a way to randomly generate that position, what the camera is looking at, to move just a little bit, we can replicate handheld motion because that's, you know, people are sh have shaky hands. So if we hold Alt, or um, maybe it's option, yeah, it's option on Mac. So hold Alt or Option, and we click on the stopwatch next to point of interest. And I actually made an entire YouTube video about this specific expression, but we will type in wiggle, parentheses, one comma 70. So what this is gonna tell it to do is move one pi uh, 70 pixels between one second. Honestly, the math doesn't matter, but we always want to stay with the first number being one or two and the second number being a reasonable uh, from one to 100. So again, just to remind you, this was the original animation. Look how it's moving so smooth and elegant. Now this is it with a little bit of handheld movement. You can see it's kind of like bobbing up and down and like moving within 3D space a little more. And it looks really cool. We've now created a handheld look within After Effects. Um, I'll do another example really quick with this animation. Let's try doing two 100. Let's kind of do an extreme example to show you what it would look like on the other end of the spectrum with the animations. Beforehand, that was very subtle. This would be like heavy handheld motion. Whoa. Okay, are you seeing this? This maybe looks a little too random and intense. So maybe if this was like a close up on a person and you were slowly panning in, uh, for like a dramatic close-up on like an animated thing, this would be good. Like a 2-100 on the wiggle because it's very shaky. But since the camera animation is moving really slow here, it definitely works better to have a lower wiggle. Um, I'll run that process again for this one animation of these two dapper men. I love these guys so much. Very handsome and somehow able to pull off the fact that they're on donkeys, like they still look hot. Good for them. So again, here's a reminder, this is what the original animation looked like, very smooth, very elegant, but we wanna make it look like someone was actually holding that freaking camera. So if we come to the camera layer in this composition, we'll drop down the arrow, we'll see the point of interest, and we'll hold down Alt or Option and click on the keyframe or the little stopwatch there. We'll type in wiggle. Let's do one comma 70. Let's give that a look. Why don't we? And again, of course, this was the original of the two dapper men looking so handsome on their horses. Very smooth, very elegant. And now this is the animation with the 170 wiggle. Ooh, I love it. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, the handheld look is really elevating these animations. 
because actually I didn't know how to do this effect when I animated these for Johnny Harris. Uh, I absolutely would have added this effect when I made those because it, it totally like grounds it in reality a lot more. Like it gives a more, it lends more to this old photo look because it's like handheld and shaky. Cause like if someone was actually there with a, a camera filming this moment, it would be shaky back then. So um, I love this. Let's uh, let's do one crazy one for this one. Let's try uh, three ninety. Oh, that's gonna go crazy, right? Oh yeah. That doesn't even look natural at this point. Woo! All right, okay. Three ninety, bad idea. Okay, and last example I will do with um, the the animation I titled Cuddle Donkeys. Uh, here's the original. Two sad donkeys in the rain. There's a thunderstorm going on, very sad. Um, this one I feel like is gonna benefit a lot from this handheld motion because it's two donkeys in a thunderstorm. I feel like it would really add to the intensity of the animation if the camera was actually being handheld. So you guys totally remember the process. Say it with me. We find the camera layer and we click on it. And we wanna drop down to the transform menu where we Select the point of interest. I hope you're all repeating this after uh, with me. And we alt or option click on the keyframe and we'll type in wiggle parentheses one comma. I'll do 80 on this one, I'm feeling bold. All right, and now again here, you saw the original, it's plain. And here it is. Ooh, that looks great. You see that subtle handheld motion? Those are some donkeys in distress for sure. The handheld motion really sells it. That's how you make 3D cameras and After Effects look handheld. I honestly, after I learned it, <laughs> broke my mind because of how many missed opportunities I had where I could use this effect. Uh, it's actually really rewarding seeing it put on these animations. Uh, Johnny Harris, if you're watching this, I'm sorry I didn't make these cooler when I had the chance, but next time, gotcha. So yeah, take notes, leave a comment down below if this was helpful, and of course, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. From online stores and marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. Let's say you wanna be a photographer. Well, Squarespace has the best feature for that ever. You can upload all of your photos to their portfolios and galleries. This function on their website lets you display your work to the world in award-winning designer templates. So it's a good place to consolidate all of your photo work so people can see it and be like, hmm, I wanna hire this man, slash woman, slash person. Next, let's say uh, you like analytics. Squarespace has tons of them. You wanna see when people come to your website Site, buy your products. Did you hear that? This exported the clip I was rendering. And they make it really easy because they have so many charts and graphs and it makes dumb people like me understand numbers. Squarespace Analytics. And lastly, Squarespace lets you stay connected. You can embed all of your social medias into their platform so when people come to your website, they can also find you on like Instagram. If you're a fashion blogger, throw that stuff in there. Or even your SoundCloud. Put your SoundCloud link in your website. So SoundCloud rappers rejoice you have to sign up with Squarespace. Best part is I got you hooked up with a discount code. So if you go to squarespace.com slash Will Carmack, you'll get 10% off your first website or domain. Thanks for sponsoring this video, Squarespace. I hope everyone learned something today. And where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will, and have a nice day. I messed with the finger movement. <laughs>